Uh, welcome to the Layman and the Brewer uh, tasting sessions. Today joining me is Daniel Denison from Castle and Sons Brewery and he's brought along uh, their red IPA for us to try. Um, looking forward to it, so um, yeah. Thanks for coming along Daniel and bringing some tasty beer. Yeah, yeah. It's our new... Yeah, we, we, brew, we brewed this beer probably the first time three, four months ago and we are super, super happy. We we only got few feedback, but uh, all the feedbacks are quite good. So, what's um? So, tell me about this one a little bit. What what hops have we used in there? What's uh, what makes this one so tasty? Uh, so, it's a um, red IPA, six point six ABV, and um, the different is is a bit different from a normal red IPA. So, if you think about red IPA and good aromatic and strong bitterness is not that the beer for you. This one is more complex. We use um, six, seven different modes. And uh, we were looking for um, a good red IPA, quite strong, um, good aroma, good bitterness, but also with a, a good malt flavor working on the background. So it's not dry like a, a normal red IPA. So it's, it's more complex and um, it's more balanced. So it's, it's, you can drink it quite easy. And um, the base malt is a um, beautiful business malt from Germany. And um, we use, of course, Vienna, like a, more or less all the red IPA. And uh, yeah, the, the color is a bit um, it's not like red, 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 it's more copper, but we were, that, that's what we were looking for. And the hope, the hopes we use, um, five different hopes. Uh, we use for bitterness, really English style, we use Fagol and Iskand Golding. And um, for aroma, we decide to use Waimea, Beautiful, beautiful New Zealand hops. And um, we use Motueka cones. And the last hop we use for aroma is a Calypso hops from USA. So there's quite a lot going into this yeah. beer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, at Castles we, we always prefer to do something more complicated than just a, a plain beer. Because we, we think that is the craft beer is about, isn't it? Just oh, enough talking about it. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's drink some. Cheers. Cheers. Ah, tastes good though. Oh, that's <laughs> lovely. It's very nice. Yeah, you can feel it. It's, it's not just about the bitterness. It's, it's more the balance from the hopes and the special malt we use. Well, it's quite smooth too, which really yeah. sort of complements that yeah. bit, of, bit of taste in there, or bitterness. Um, yeah, the bitterness is, 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 is quite pleasant. It's from that bitterness is coming through after the, the taste is from the, um, most of that is from East Kent Golding. Beautiful, beautiful hope. Quite expensive here in New Zealand, but yeah. <laughs> and that one's from the States? It's um, an American no. house? From UK, oh, it's yeah. English hops. Yeah, yeah. What? Um, why is it red? What gives the red beers their red characteristic? Is it always the same thing? If you have a red IPA, is it always going to be that same thing that's making it red, or is there different things that brewers use? Yeah, the red IPA is quite is quite a tricky beer to brew because, like all the beer, you put the color on the name is is quite tricky. Um, most of the brewery, they just use Vienna and caramel for the, for the color. Basically the color of the beer, you can decide the color of the beer using different um, type of mold. And um, yeah, if you're using too much special mold, maybe the color is, is really red, really beautiful, but the taste is, it can be quite sweet or if you use it less, the taste can be super dry. So it's 
especially with the right IPA, is quite tricky because you have to find the perfect balance from bitterness and the sweetness from the malt. And of course, you, and the you, color have, as well. you have to give the red, red color. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's um, I think it's really it's really good beer. The aroma is is unbelievable for me. The wine I hope is really delicate, but it's super super fruity and tropical and. Um, yeah, it's a sort of also a contrast from the the aroma is really tropical to me. The bitterness is more more like piney spice mm -hmm. sort of. Yeah, I can get that. Yeah, so it's yeah, it's a bit there is a lot of going on here. <laughs> well, it's definitely a lovely beer. Um, Daniel and I are going to enjoy the rest of this, but if you want to try some, um, head on down to Philosophy. We've got it on tap at the moment. Uh, or if you see it out and about anywhere, grab some and give it a go. Thanks for coming. See you guys. Cheers.